Welcome, Fat Junkie. This is War Machine, episode 20. Um, for those of you that are new to the channel, I am taking a 77 Ford F600 cab. Cut the floor and firewall out of it. I got a 2000 model Ford F450 truck. Uh, cut the floor and firewall out of that. Essentially, I'm gonna morph this cab over, this 77 cab over top of the 2000 chassis with a 7.3 diesel in it. We're gonna airbag it, air horns, semi front bumper. It's gonna be one bitchin' toe pig. Uh, in this episode, we are gonna put the sound deadener on the inside of the cab. Check it out, hope you like it. Throw me a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, you got questions, put them in the comment box. Uh, check out the build, man, follow along, should be cool. All right, well, here's our current situation. Put the body back on the frame and went through and scuffed the whole thing down real good with a red scotch Bright pad. Didn't go crazy, just kind of scuffed it up a little bit. So now I'm going to go through and put a couple nice coats of some POR15 on, the, on there and hopefully get ready to start putting this thing back together here soon. All right, well... Got a little bit excited last week. Did a little bit of work without uh, shooting video of it. So catch up right quick. As you can see, everything is nice and shiny black. So got everything sprayed. Now, this is not base coat, clear coat. This is just POR 15. I wasn't going to paint the inside of the cab, but I just decided that I wanted the whole thing to at least be, you know, one solid color because it was two or three different colors before. You can see everything is all nice and seam sealed now. And I've got my sound deadening material. As you can see, I got one piece stuck in there last night because I just wanted to put a piece on, see how it, see how it looks, see how easy it was to work. Get some stuff I got off Amazon. It's supposed to be rated really high. It's supposed to be good stuff. So we'll get a little video of me installing the rest of this stuff now.
That's that. Well, it'd be an old cab, but she should be a quiet truck. That was oddly satisfying to uh, cover all that black up and make it look like a gigantic baked potato on the inside. Uh, I always, I've seen it on lots of different shows, where it'd be, you know, chip foods for somebody building up some kind of cool resto mod, or you know, just some old classic car. And I thought, man, it'd be cool to get to that point where you're floor and everything is all made and finished out and you get to cover it and sound dead in it and everything and it was as cool as I thought it would be. It was extremely time consuming. Uh, it was a lot of clips I had to cut. It took several hours to edit this one because it was just a lot of time to get it done. But uh, I mean you don't have to cover every square inch of the inside of your vehicle the way I did with this one but I figured why not. I've got the stuff uh, the product is some stuff I got off Amazon. It's 80 mils thick. It wasn't even that expensive, but it was really easy to put on. I would recommend it highly. Um, it, was, it was pretty affordable too, really for the most part. Uh, anyhow, I hope you liked it. If you did, like, like I said earlier, subscribe. Um, help me pimp this channel up just a little bit. We are currently in week one of this coronavirus quarantine. Uh, I'm trying to put a little content out there. So, you know, you guys are captive at home, you know, Hopefully you'll watch this one want to go back and see how I got to, you know, where I'm at. Watch all the rest of them. Hope everybody's safe. Hope they're doing well. Hope your family's safe. See you in 21.